Welcome everyone to this video. Over the last several weeks, there's been multiple articles posted about U.S. officials, the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, urging citizens to start using encrypted messaging. And I will post links to some of these articles down below so that you can read them if you would like to. But a lot of this is stemming from a Chinese cyber attack into telecommunications infrastructure, which by the way, this appears to still be ongoing. So most likely any unencrypted phone calls or text messages you've sent have been intercepted. And it's just very interesting to see this warning coming from the government, which it wasn't too long ago that the FBI was trying to push Apple for a backdoor into their encryption. And this doesn't mean that they won't continue to hope or push for backdoors into encryption or encrypted solutions. But even with the Chinese intercepting all these phone calls and text messages, I do want to point out that the U.S. government's been listening and intercepting communications from their citizens for decades. And so for years now, I've said, and many others have said, that all of us should be using encrypted messaging apps for not just texting, but also for phone calls and video calls as well. This does go a little bit deeper than just listening to phone calls and intercepting messages, but it can impact two-factor authentication. So for example, when you have that code sent to your phone via text message that can be intercepted, and due to that, at minimum, you should be using an authenticator app, which is free. This is in the Google Play Store. They also have them in the Apple App Store. And while it is true that messages between iMessage, so Apple iPhones talking to another iPhone are end-to-end -end encrypted, and recently Google has pushed updates to encrypt messages between different Android phones, communication between iPhones and Android phones are not always encrypted. Right here we can see, and this is on Apple's website, Apple's implementation of RCS is based on the industry standards. RCS messages are not end-to-end -end encrypted, which which means they are not protected from a third party reading them while they are sent between devices. So with all this said and done, at the end of the day, yes, you absolutely need to use an encrypted messaging app. And the top one that I would recommend by far is Signal, which is free. You can also encrypt your phone calls, your video calls. The only pain point here is in order for this to work, the person you're trying to communicate with also needs to be using Signal. And that's really been the pain point is it's like pulling teeth, trying to get people to use this app. It's not a flashy app. It's not a social media app. And so getting people on board can be a little bit difficult, but this is what people need to be using slowly, but surely the user base has grown and we just need to keep pushing to use this. Now there are alternatives. There are other apps out there. I'm not gonna list all of them, but I will say do not use Telegram ever. And while we're on the topic of encrypted communication, ProtonMail, which does have a free version, does offer free end-to-end -end encryption between ProtonMail users, but it also allows you to password protect emails when you're sending a message to an email address that is not a Proton account. So again, in short, to protect yourself, start using Signal, spread the word, try to get those you know on Signal. End-to-end -end encryption between two iPhones via iMessage or two Android phones talking to each other is good, but Signal's just better. It's open source and it does have other security features such as disappearing messages messages and you don't have to give your phone number out in order to communicate or add someone to send them a text message which just adds a layer of privacy which is really good especially if you're just starting to communicate with someone new someone you're getting to know this is available for iphone it's available for android there is also a desktop application for signal as well as for mac os and even linux and again i'll post links to all of this down below down in the video description but that's everything for this video if you do have any comments or questions please post them down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it and if you would like to support the channel go ahead and hit that join button the subscribe button the thanks button or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.